Good morning, family. I've been up for a little minute. Um, it's like 8 a.m. Doing some laundry real quick. Uh, and then I gotta go pick up my OG from dropping his car off at like the tent shop. So um, that's a little minute from here. So I'm about to do this, finish this up real quick. And then we're gonna head out, pick his ass up. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for that, for the morning. And then gonna work out here in a few hours. Uh, I mean, like two hours, just run normal. But yeah, sure. I don't know if I'm gonna if I'm gonna go if I'm gonna if I'm gonna head out today or not. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. I gotta figure it out. I'm gonna tap in with you. All right, fam. <clears throat> Feel me? Uh, finally dropping or picking him up, bro. This is such a trek. This was like 35 minutes. Uh, I'll tap him when I get home. Feel me, gang? I had to come to um, finish line right quick. Give me a pair of the white forest keys. It didn't really, you feel me? It's, it's a simple transaction. Walk in there, hey man. Size 10 in forces, white forces. Yeah, let me check. That gang. Boom. Good. Done. Simple. Now I'm gonna get Wetzel's pretzels. I'm gonna get uh, lemonade too, because I want one. And then uh, we're gonna head back home to the crib ski. And we gotta run today, bro. We haven't ran yet. We're being lazy, but uh, feel me, flights bucked. So you know that's why I had to come. That's why I had to come to the mall real quick. I had to go get ready. Big side. All right, bro. My hands are full. I ended up going to H H and M and getting three pairs of shorts as well. And of course, you feel me. Yeah, feel um, I don't like, bro. I came here, and for one thing. And of course I got some more. But nah, I really did need some shorts to, to take. So I ain't even tripping. Um, yeah, I'm gonna show you the hall when I get home. You dig? Can you see where we're at? Filling up all unfaithful. Even though I won't need her for quite a few days, but just let her, don't let her sit with an empty tank, you feel me? But um, yeah, gang, I'm gonna tap in when I get to the house. The mall was funny. It was uh, so many people. I so many people on a Tuesday afternoon, but I guess it's summer. So. It's warm, bro. Just turned off the air and I'm already sweating. We gotta run later. <laughs> yeah, they quick little haul. Feel me, of course. I grab the forces. Just a few pairs of shorts. Throw them in the washer real quick. We're gonna get it right. Yes, sir. All right, gang. I just got home. Obviously. Finishing up some laundry. So I'm gonna be chilling here for about an hour, hour and a half. And then we're gonna go on that run. It's so hot outside, but I don't care. I'm gonna go handle bathing this. And then we gotta, give me a little chop ski, bro. Yes, sir. I'm gonna tap in with you in a little minute. But it's like an hour later, bro. I accidentally passed out for a little bit. Just changed my laundry, put the stuff from the dryer and feel me in the dryer or in the washer into the dryer so i'm waiting on that then we're gonna go on a run Probably looking like a little sunset run ski Woo! nice still hot as fuck all right boys yes sir laid out all my freaking laundry gotta put it away but um i'm actually gonna go on my run gonna go handle that first and then we're gonna shower well, i'm gonna give myself a cut we're gonna shower and then probably read and journal and then or I'm gonna pack, then we're gonna read in journal. So I'm not gonna put this away until I pack. So that way, for me, it's just easier for me. But uh, yes, sir. Um, next time y'all see me, I'll be outside. It's 110 degrees. Ah. So much pain, I know it. And you probably never show it. All right, y'all, feel me? It's like 5 p.m. Time to get active. Um. I really don't want to run in my favorite running fit though. No clothes. Um, I really don't want to run right now, like at all. But today is not the day to quit. Today is not the day to not run because I need to make sure that I'm looking all right for the beach ski. So whether I like it or not, we got to run. <laughs> I'm going to hit this four and a half skirt. And I'm going to hit y'all with it's pace time. Bro, that was so hot. Bang. Not the best pace, not the worst. It was so hot. Like for some reason, I don't know today. I mean, it was 110 degrees, but for some reason, it was just even drier and lamer than usual. 
Machino drill. Y'all gonna see your kickstand. Core time. Wow, that was butt. That was no fun whatsoever at all. None of it. <sighs> Let's go get ourselves groomed, pack, and read and journal. Feel me, feel me, feel me, feel me, feel me. All right. I'm gonna tap in when it's nice and crispy. It's crazy what a it's crazy what a what a haircut can do, bro. It really is, bro. I was looking by me. You feel me? I did the eyebrows too. Mm hmm. Bro, just because you a grown man, don't mean don't take care of yourself, bro. Finna cut my nails, finna do all that, bro. Groom yourself. The ladies love it. Otherwise, you you over here, no bitches, and wonder why you ain't got no bitches. Feel me? Clean yourself up, bro. It ain't gay. All right, gang, I'm gonna go through, right, and hang up the stuff that I need to hang up, and then figure out what I wanna pack. Obviously, put it all out. And then uh, I'm gonna show y'all the little haul, what I'm taking to on the trip. And then I'll give y'all a little time lapse of me packing. Yes, sir. All right, gang. Let me show y'all real quick. Feel me? Um, workout stuff. Bang. And then I brought one sweater. You already know what sweater I'm bringing. Feel me? Shout out Dirty Collective. Workout stuff. You dig? Two workout shorts. Workout shirts. Probably not going to run every day I'm out there, but I'm going to run. Or at least try to. Uh, you feel me? Got to bring some jeans just in case we do go out to dinner or something. And then this is what I brought with the jeans. If we do go something nice or something, we just a little color shirt. I already have some other ones, but that one's just in case. You feel me? It's nothing crazy. Uh, trunks slash, you know, just chill shorts. Shorts. More shorts slash trunks. And then the shorts I bought today, you feel me? Of course I have to bring them. And then here are my shirts. You yeah, feel me? I'm overpacking. I already know I'm overpacking, but I really don't care. You can't have too many of beater of course and then just my simples and then my beach shirts you already know the drill if y'all remember cabo <sighs> yes sir and then uh, this is what i'm wearing tomorrow and then of course my draws and my socks yeah sir and then here's my shoe selection we going with the um low skis i'm going all low skis feel me of course we got to bring those johns we bought today my fins up and then we got to bring some black ones just in case yeah I did. but yes sir that's what i'm gonna do and uh, I'm gonna, let me show y'all me throwing it all in this big ass Versace bag. Let's see if it fits. If it doesn't fit, I'm gonna have to grab like a not a backpack because this is a backpack, but it's just huge. So I'm like, all right, bro, it's definitely gonna fit. But we'll see. We'll see for sure. I'm overpacking, so. Alright, broski, that shit was difficult. I had to switch bags on them. That was definitely not enough. If I didn't bring three pairs of shoes, I think it would be enough. Like, even, it wasn't even enough to fit those in. Like, I'm, those are going in my backpack. Feel me? So the only things I left out was this. Yeah. They're both going in my backpack. And then, obviously, you see, I got my clothes for tomorrow. And then the rest is just pretty much uh, gonna go in my fanny pack. Feel me? Just charger, rings, jewelry. Normal shit. Um, besides that, bro, we all packed up. I'm about to get ready to go out and journal and read right now. Yes, sir. What's good, famo? Um, yes, sir. You already know the drill. Journal and read every day. I'm gonna take the pup skis on a feel me after this. They're right here, so I don't wanna say nothing. Uh, in a little bit. Um, but it's so warm, like I don't even wanna walk with them right now for for their sake. You know me. I'll get down anywhere. <laughs> nah. But uh, I think the thing I want to talk about tonight is uh, my heart's heavy, but my mind's clear. 
and what I mean by that, right, is, uh, I mean, obviously, you know, I've been, I've been heavy in my head and thinking about my whole entire existence this past week and a half, two weeks, and, um, it's obviously to a point where I've thought it through enough and done things that I feel I need to do to where now I've laid it to rest and it's it's in here right it's in, even though the the things that I do and the actions I take for me are obviously done and in the past or thought through and already feel me on their way to be done and stuff they're still going to weigh on my heart and weigh on my conscience as a human being rightfully so you're supposed to feel these feelings right they're supposed to your actions have repercussions and those repercussions often come in feelings and so you're supposed to feel those you're supposed to feel those feelings feel those feelings and um you're not supposed to you feel me drown them out and just always have no you feel me no no emotion like just be cold now granted why i say i have a heavy heart but clear mind because you need to be clear-minded right you can't let your feelings influence your decisions and your right the actions that you take so you got to have be clear-minded you may be heavy-hearted but you got to be clear-minded you may feel a certain type of way but you got to separate that you got to separate your mind from your heart and granted it's very difficult to do and it took me shit a week and a half two weeks to do right just to just to do the certain shit i'm i'm trying to do like this is about really one situation and so um it's definitely a task that is a uh, daily and that needs to be worked on but i think we all need to work on it because a lot of the times the actions that we take that we regret are we split decision actions that are off of feelings and feelings aren't real feelings are thoughts that our brain attaches to and then that creates you feel me a certain type of feeling but if you were to just let that thought pass and work through it i promise you you wouldn't feel those type of feelings you'd feel a certain type of way about it different type of way um but yeah gang honesty is also honesty is always going to get you where you need to get to um just be honest with yourself and honest with everything maybe it's not going to get you into the situations into the predicaments that you want to get to right like but it's going to be getting you into the predicaments you need to be in and and where the universe wants to take you um honesty is always going to lead you to the correct path now <laughs> you feel me i'm not honest I, they call me honest jordan but i ain't you feel me i ain't honest abe i don't never lie but uh i try to pride myself on my word and my word means your word anyone's word is is gold that's what you have feel me as soon as you don't have as soon as your word means nothing you mean nothing you feel me and your word is a big big thing at least to me so like i i really don't appreciate liars and i don't appreciate um people who will say certain things to get certain ways you feel me but granted sometimes you need to tell a little white lie in order to proceed and uh it is what it is. You got to do what you got to do and make the decisions that's going to make you proud and you happy. And as long as it doesn't affect your moral compass, who am I to judge, right? And um, that's the same thing, feel me? As long as you're trying to better yourself, bruh, at the end of the day, I ain't got no issues with it. However you live, you're living. As long as you trying to promote positivity, peace, happiness, we on the same boat, gang. You can come to my party anytime you want. But yes, sir, um, I'm going to get right, do this. And uh, call it a day, edit this video, eat some dinner. You feel me? I don't know what I'm going to have to dinner. Um, so that's why I'm not going to show you because otherwise we won't finish till like 9 p.m. But yes, sir. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed today. Um, We're going to try to have some interesting vlogs if I'm not too, you feel me? But I'm going to try. And uh, we're going to see the homies. We're going to have some fun. So yes, sir. I'm going to tap in with you early tomorrow.